Yo, what is going on my husband, those and my foos? My name is Termzar and welcome to another live reaction review of the Rising of the Shield Hero. This is going to be episode 19. If you guys are excited, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like for me because that would help me a lot to subscribe. And don't forget to click that notification bell, my boys. Now, before we get into this live reaction review, I wanted to say, like, I did upload a video late last night, like 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, talking about how I wanted to do more than just live reaction and reviews. I wanted to expand my creativity. I guess people missed the fact that I said I am not going going to stop the live reaction that's going to be a continuous thing that's like almost a staple on my channel so i'm not going to stop doing those i don't know where people got that idea from but yeah like don't worry guys this, this is still going to be a thing if anything i want to expand on this and make it even better than what i do now because i know for a fact that i can make this better and i'm still trying to figure out how but eventually i'll do it anyways we're here for the rising of the shield hero in the last episode we saw the pope is about to hit us with the fucking excalibur F fucking have light shine down upon us and just goddamn murder us what the fuck we thought the church was good but it's really bad also guys please no spoilers guys even if you think it might be a spoiler don't even say it don't even say it. The last comment section was so bad. Please. <laughs> I almost can't interact with the comment section anymore because of the fucking the fucking spoilers and shit. Hey, anyways, let's let's hop into the shit, my boys. Look at this golden sword. The false spear hero and the devil of the shield. I wonder what gave them the idea that the devil of the shield is a thing. You know what's crazy too? Like, there are some dark shit in religious shit, you know what I'm saying? Damn, now Fumi straight up blocked it? Was he even trying? He wasn't even trying. Holy shit. It's a spear now? Wait. He can he can use all of them? Yo, I just realized. Hold on. Pause. Mine was behind all of those church people, wasn't she? Yo, this bitch evil. This bitch evil. A replica of the cardinal weapons. How come they can't stop the waves then? If they have such a weapon. Mine is a line bitch. A lying bitch, but that girl next to her is kind of cute. That's true. That's what I'm saying. Ah, uh, so it needs all those people praying behind it. Melty does her research. Melty's intelligent. Damn, calling her out on her bullshit too. So all those people gonna die just for the sake of killing them or is just their mana gonna be drained? So this Pope doesn't even have like all that MP. Everything he says is hollow. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Spear guy is definitely annoying. How is he going to defeat him if he can't even defeat Naofumi? And Naofumi is the one that's protecting them from attacks. Maybe this is something that the Cursed Shield can do. <laughs> now it's time for us to work together. <laughs> Look how annoyed they are. Nah, man. The Pope chilling. He got the power of Jesus, my boy. Hell yeah, dude. I would resist that shit too. <laughs> Look at Naofumi. He's like, why are you trying to take all the spotlight? The issue is, is that Spear Hero is trying to handle everything himself. Look at everyone fainting in the back. Dude, he has to use that tomb thing and just put that bitch in there. <gasps> they're alive! Yo, they're good! Ooh, they living! They living! Yo, they living! Let's go, yo! This is the moment that I wanted to see them fighting together. Though, fuck all of them. It's all about Nafumi. Time to understand. Get why? What? See? Okay. No, no, no. I can't do it, dude. Adding, adding religion to shit is, is just so. Okay, I'ma just say it. I hate when people like it, this is. You know, I'm not saying everyone, okay? Cause I was raised, uh, religious. But man, there are some people who are just put themselves in such a high pedestal because they think they're better than everyone. I hate that shit. This pope pisses me off. He reminds me of the people that, uh, that were like like that. So the shadows that serve the queen save them. Excellent. So I, I think the queen knows that they have to be friends with everyone. <laughs> He's so pissed off. <laughs> the, oh my god, they're all idiots. Of course he was framed. Oh. Damn, they're fucking strong. I mean, now Fumi's level, way levels under them. I think like 20 levels under. Oh shit, the queen is about to pull up. This is dumb. What god? This guy's a bitch! <laughs> I like how he says that, yet he has to borrow the mana of other people. Like, there's obviously a limitation to how much that weapon can use. And these motherfuckers are blind as fuck! It's so interesting to see all of them together, though. <laughs> this is his opportunity to fight together. That's true. 
But it's, yep. That's true. Dude, now Fumi is laying it on him. Honestly, even though, even though now Fumi's whole mission right now is to work with them and to like make sure everything is good to go and so that they can work together to fight these future waves, he needs to let Spear Hero know that he's a little fuck bitch, dude. He, he let mind control legit everything that he does. This is almost, I think, honestly, from what we're seeing right now, I know I'm pausing a lot, but listen, that there, there is a lot of recap in here, but it's, I love how they recapped it because it's not just them showing what happened. It's now Fumi explaining the situation to the other heroes on why they fucked up and why they need to accept the wrongs. Now Fumi knows that he's done things wrong, I'm sure. But at the same time, they have to see what they've done wrong because as of right now, they haven't accepted their wrongs and they need to do that. Okay, see, see now, now here's here's the messy part. Cause now that now Fumi laid it out for them, they're just pointing fingers now. Now Fumi is the only person that has the right to point fingers, not any of them. <laughs> yup, you let them know now, Fumi. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this episode. You know, I fucking the reason why this episode's so good. I'm fucking pausing so much. I'm sorry because this is a review at the same time. Now Fumi finally has the moment to tell these motherfuckers what's going on and how he truly feels. This is what is important, my boys. This right here. I bet, I bet you Now Fumi was able to protect everyone. Look at that! He's standing tall. Is it gonna reach him? Is it gonna reach him? This is what's important. Let's go! <laughs> this is high boys! Oh my god, hold on. This is great. This is fucking great. This is a moment. Oh, look at now Fumi squad is gangster, bro. And the music is so epic. <laughs> oh wow, the music is so good. I think that's one thing that I really about really like about Shield here is how how epic the music is. Here we go. What the fuck is that? What is that a fucking sun? I know the episode's almost over too, so we about to get fucked right now. They he legit built a church around them. So it's just him. And I'm assuming like the attacks will be concentrated in that area. Is this se season just gonna be based off of this match? Oh damn. Oh, what a moment. What a fucking moment, my boys. This is what we wanted in the Rising of the Shield Hero. We wanted to see this. And I think this is what's so great about this anime. Now, now Fumi has his moment to actually tell the other heroes how he feels. And him keeping his promise to Fitoria. So, he's saying this is only until they beat this guy. And I think that's... I think that's proper and I think what they need to do is whenever they have to fight a wave this is what's going to happen they're going to have to work together to defeat the future waves that is the only way that they're going to be able to win and now also I wonder how they are going to distribute the heroes to different kingdoms because there's just so many there's waves happening around the world how are they going to be able to save everyone as long as each hero is strong enough to get more powerful then they can stand on their own to defeat the waves also an interesting fact with the fake weapon that the Pope is using. It's pretty much the fake legendary weapons. It can transform into any weapon, but I don't see it transforming into a shield, weirdly enough. They have to create a barrier to be able to use it. Now, the only thing is, as powerful as that weapon is, and that it may be, is the fact that it takes up man so much mana. This Pope doesn't have the proper amount of mana to be able to use it all by himself. He relies on the church to give him that power, and because that he relies on that church, it's holding him back a lot. And once it doesn't have a unlimited amount of reserves unlike what the other legendary heroes have because for example now Fumi has the ability to suck up mana from his opponent through a, a different type of shield attack now I'm assuming this fake legendary weapon cannot do that its only capabilities is doing the basic functions that each weapon can do and we all know that now Fumi's shield weapon goes beyond and is crazier one thing that I found very weird though is right at the opening I noticed that mine 
is still hiding behind the church in the opening if you guys remember that so i'm wondering why that's the case what does that mean she with the church we don't know please don't kill it for me i think what this is going to be is that within the next two episodes this fight's going to be over then the rest of the episode is going to be somewhat slice of life and then flashback of what happened throughout the series because i'm pretty sure we're going to get a second season because this right here is my swag i'm sorry i had to do it soldier boy really fucking amazing episode guys i love this episode so good so many good moments for us to just feel naofumi it was just so satisfying for naofumi to tell them how he feels and to tell them how much they fucked up because this is the moment where he's like look this is how you fucked up this is how you fucked up this is how you fucked up and the music played a big role into feeling the intensity of this episode now fumi just explaining the situation and finally when the pope says it's my turn to fucking attack and like we the cathedral shit we I, it just gave us that heavy intensity of that episode Anyways, guys, that is my live reaction review of The Rising of the Shield Hero. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys go to drop a like for me because that helped me a lot. Subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell, my boys. And thank you so much for all the support that you guys have been giving me. If you haven't seen the update skit review, update skit review. If you haven't seen the update skit, definitely check that out. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.